Welcome to the learning video of the Video Teach project which introduces you to sharing methods for the created content. Software and platforms for sharing, cloud sharing, academic sources, and others, play significant roles in facilitating the exchange and access of information, resources, and collaborative work. Information sharing platforms are important tools that facilitate information flow and increase accessibility today. They have also important features such as information accessibility and diversity, collaboration and sharing opportunities, contribution to learning and education, increasing innovation and creativity, and building community. Information sharing platforms increase the value of information while facilitating access to information. It connects people, collaborates, learns and encourages innovation. These platforms support the general public's access to information and develop a knowledge-based culture of thought. As we already said, software and platforms play significant roles in facilitating the exchange and access of information, resources, and collaborative work. Here are four types of them which we will explain in this video. First, sharing platforms. Second, cloud sharing. Third, academic sources. And the last one, collaboration tools. Sharing platforms are online platforms that allow users to share various types of content such as files, documents, images, videos, and more. Examples include file sharing services like Dropbox and Google Drive, social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram, and video sharing platforms like YouTube and Vimeo. Cloud sharing refers to the storage and sharing of data or files on remote servers accessible through the internet. Cloud storage services allow users to upload and access their files from any device with an internet connection. This enables easy file sharing, collaboration, and remote access. Examples of cloud storage services include Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, and Dropbox. Cloud storage services have developed an ecosystem called CDN, Content Delivery Network. CDN is a distribution network that enables the content on the internet to be delivered to users in a faster and more reliable way. Academic resources are scientific materials that provide research, studies, publications, and other resources related to a particular field of study. These resources are often peer-reviewed and include academic journals, conference papers, books, and dissertations. The latest developments in the world of science are published on these platforms, allowing scientists to follow. Online platforms such as JSTOR, Google Scholar, and academic databases provided by universities or libraries provide access to a wide variety of academic resources. Collaboration tools are software or platforms that facilitate teamwork, communication, and collaborative projects between individuals or groups. These tools often include features such as document sharing, real-time editing, task management, and communication channels. Collaboration tools, which are frequently preferred by computer software developers, allow online software development. Examples of collaboration tools include Microsoft Teams, Slack, Trello, and Google Workspace, formerly G Suite. In summary, we can divide software and platforms like this. Sharing platforms, Google Drive, Dropbox, social media. Cloud sharing, Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, Dropbox. Academic sources, JSTOR. Google Scholar, Collaboration Tools, Microsoft Teams, Slack, Trello, Google Workspace. These software, platforms, and tools contribute to enhance sharing, accessibility, and collaboration in various domains, including education, research, business, and personal use. They provide efficient ways to share, store, access, and collaborate on content, fostering productivity, connectivity, and knowledge exchange in the digital age. Thank you very much for watching this learning video. If you like it, you can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project VideoTeach at videoteach.eu. All the content of this project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.